Good day to you, Ninth and Oh. This is Devotionables, Brief Devotions for Busy People. I'm Brandon Pissacreta, one of the pastoral interns. Uh, just this past week, I watched on the TV, maybe like many of you, the funeral of Prince Philip. Prince Philip, of course, being the uh, husband of Queen Elizabeth II in England, and their marriage spanned over 70 years. And I watched the funeral, and I was reflecting on the priest's words of comfort to the queen. And of course, I guess my mind went back to thinking about that priest is probably not the same priest that, that prayed over her at her coronation in 1952. Well, in our text today, we, we hear about priests who don't continue on because death keeps them from continuing on. Consider Hebrews 7, verse 23, that reads, The former priests were many in number because they were prevented by death from continuing in office. But he holds his, per, uh, his priesthood permanently because he continues forever. Jesus is our great high priest. And Jesus ushers in this new covenant of, of being our great high priest. His priesthood is endless. His priesthood saves us and his ministry of intercession for those who draw near to God never ends. It goes on to say, consequently, he is able to save to the uttermost. Consider the quote on page 83 in Dane Ortland's book, Gentle and Lowly, that says, God's forgiving, redeeming, restoring touch reaches down into the darkest crevices of our souls, those places where we are most ashamed, most defeated, more than this, those crevices of sin are themselves the places where Christ loves us the most. You think about that and how we might hold all of those things in our heart that keep us from God that really only God knows about. And those deep, dark things that we hide, that's what, that's what God saves. That's where He loves us the very most. So, it goes on to say that he is able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him since he lives to make intercession for them. Knowing that Christ has accomplished everything for salvation, we know that he's redeemed his people and we know that his salvation is effective forever. We are now dependent on uh, on Christ's past death and resurrection, and presently we depend on Him to be our intercession. So Christ sympathizes with us when those sins are there and we are tempted or we uh, come to Him in need. Christ intercedes for you and I. And so He goes to God on our behalf. He is able to save to the uttermost. That includes me. It includes you. Ninth and O, I hope you find great comfort that Jesus is our great high priest who saves to the uttermost. Mm -hmm.